I have uh, chosen this particular picture to start my uh, presentation because these are probably the only military aircrafts in the world that tires doesn't mean anything to them. And the reason is because they take off and they land vertically. Uh, you can imagine that uh, two fast going planes will not take off and land so close to each other. Uh, aircraft tires, the companies, the air companies or the manufacturers do not like to talk about them. The main reasons are that uh, it has always been a sensitive subject and in the past, in the far past, a cause for accidents. Uh, another reason, in my opinion, is that um, especially the, the manufacturers do not like to talk about the aircraft tires because the retreaded aircraft tires are doing much better than the original ones. Quite often, uh, 30 to 50 percent more landings. In aircraft tires, uh, mileage is not counted, but number of landings. And the number of landing is determined for each type of tire and plane and is very strictly adhered to. What you see here is a uh, drawing that was made by Goodyear some time ago, and it gives a, a picture of what a, a comparison between the various tires. You would see that the only tire which come close to aircraft tires, in one is the racing tires, but again, the load is much lower. Uh, on the other hand, the off-the-road tires or the OTR tires, uh, the load is uh, slightly lower, uh, but the speed is, of course, much uh, uh, slower. Uh, it makes the aircraft tires completely unique. Uh, people do not realize, but uh, the main hysteresis of, of uh, aircraft tires is not during a landing, which of course has the strongest impact, but during takeoff. And during takeoff, because uh, the planes are much heavier, full with fuel, and because the tires are warm. When landing, the tires come from a minus 50 degrees Celsius, uh, and even lower, so they don't have the time, by the time the uh, plane lands, to warm up, and that's why the abrasion and the impact is uh, absorbed by the product being so cold. As I mentioned, there are four major manufacturers. There are two or three smaller manufacturers, but they count for between 10 and 15% of the total production, so they're, they're really not counted for. And most of them are uh, Russians, and, uh, but they too are using more and more Western-made uh, aircraft tires. Uh, the picture is, of course, just to demonstrate uh, that at all time, tires, aircraft tires are being delivered. Uh, the manufacturers normally have no problems in logistic problems because the aircraft, the aircraft tires are being uh, delivered and uh, to the plants for uh, retreading or for or the new tires being taken always by themselves because they have the capability of transferring uh, tires all over the globe. And there's always funny enough place in the plane to put some tires. Uh, the market leader is Goodyear. Uh, some would not agree, but Goodyear is the largest and the most advanced manufacturer of aircraft tires in the world today. The others, Michelin and uh, Dunlop and 
Bridgestone not much behind. Uh, this has been now for quite a long time, and I believe it will continue. Uh, the Goodyear, uh, I'm not a Goodyear person, so uh, I cannot be blamed, but I know a lot about the, this uh, industry, and I uh, must say that uh, it is, uh, the company is doing extremely well. And I may mention that because I was in Akron the day before yesterday, Goodyear won the la last year, it was just announced, they are the supplier of the year of Boeing. This is a very coveted uh, uh, title, and they won it, uh, working very hard at it. And uh, this is out of 8,000 contenders. Uh, suppliers to Boeing of electronics and metal and you name it, Goodyear was chosen the number one supplier. And I think that this uh, requires a lot of appreciation. Uh, what you see in the picture is the largest plane in the world. It is, of course, Russian. If they do anything, they do it very big. Uh, if you see the last sentence talks about 18% uh, loss of the tire's weight during use. Uh, this is an average number. It's sometimes a little higher, sometimes lower. It is more or less equivalent to what a truck tire would lose during its life. Since yesterday we mentioned recycling uh, quite extensively, uh, maybe I would like, I should uh, mention it, but where is this 18% of the tires go? Where is 18% of uh, one billion tire a year disappear? Well, I'll tell you where it disappears. It disappears to the ground, to the water, to the air, to our lungs. We don't like to mention it, and nobody can suspect that I don't like tires. I love tires, and I make my living out of tires for the last 45 years. But this is a fact. When the tire is born, it is contaminating during production. During its life, it is contaminating. When it dies, it's very difficult to recycle it, if at all possible. So that's just a point after what we heard yesterday. I was asked to make this speech short because of some time constraints, so I will go quickly over these uh, uh, figures. You can see these are, and there is one in the next uh, slide, are the, what is required of aircraft tires. Some of it is similar to what is required of other tires, but most of it is very unique. Uh, you would find, for instance, uh, if I go back one moment to the thing, uh, no, it's not here. It's, uh, there is a, a lot of work done on noise control. It beats me. Why would anyone want to work on noise control of aircraft tires? Uh, because aircraft make so much noise and so on. So it was explained to me that if something, one is bad, it doesn't mean that something else needs to be bad. It's the same as someone says, uh, they ask him, why do you smoke? And he says, it's not so bad. Drinking is worse. So uh, uh, I think both are bad. Uh, more intelligent tires actually means that uh, it will be possible to get information of the tire at any time that would tell the technicians whether it needs to be changed or not. This is very critical in this industry. Uh, the technology has developed now to a stage, and we heard some of it during this uh, conference, that uh, a complete history of a tire can be determined by uh, transmitters or by equipment that is installed in the tire itself. Uh, I need to, to mention here work that is done by Professor 
Said Tahari. He is the head of the uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering in uh, Virginia Tech. I was recently present in a presentation he made, and I have followed some of his work before. It is amazing. This person and his team have uh, developed, a, a, it's still not completed, but it is a, a very advanced stage. They have developed means to uh, attach instrumentation to the tires in a liner to get information which uh, in aircraft tires can give the history of each landing or takeoff. And that is extremely important in aircraft tires. It's, it's important in, in uh, other tires as well, but in aircraft tires because the way the tire has been handled during each takeoff and landing determines very much what its condition is. And there are very uh, relatively simple uh, algorithms today to determine if the tire has to be changed or it can remain on the aircraft. Uh, more environmentally friendly tires. This is a, a very important uh, point as well. People are working on that uh, simply because uh, there are, there's a lot of contamination that is caused by landing and taking off, and they are working on reducing it. Uh, also, in the tire itself, uh, the trend is to use materials which are uh, more environmentally friendly. Tire retry retreading and recycling. Okay, uh, as Harvey always says, retreading is recycling, and it is true. In the aircraft tire manufacturing, retreading is a crucial part of, of the industry. Uh, I would say that aircraft tires cannot exist without retreading. Also in truck tires, uh, you find that uh, this is viable when there is a retreading program. And most of the major tire companies have realized that. Uh, in aircraft tires, it is simply there is no other option. Because the uh, tires are very expensive, they're built in a manner that if they cannot be reused again, uh, there is no uh, economic justification. It has become even worse in inverted commas because the retreaded aircraft tires are doing better than the original one. There are several reasons why it uh, is so, but uh, we will not go into it now. And there is also quite a lot of argument about it, but that's a fact. This is still part of improved retreadability is, of course, everything that you can do to determine that the tire would act as or better than a, a new tire, and that the retreading process, which is very long and costly, almost as making a new tire, would not be done for nothing, and that at the final inspection, that it would be found out that this tire needs to be rejected. It, it is important to say about tires, I think that with the exception possibly of bottles, because they're made of sand, but it is the greenest product in the world is aircraft tire. And the reason is because it can be retreaded so many times, when it is finally taken off, it is used for uh, agricultural purposes or for uh, uh, other implements. And uh, I've had a complaint from implements used in Czechoslovakia that the implements uh, uh, are destroyed before the tires. Because these tires last forever, the way they are made. And uh, so it is a, a absolutely a green uh, tire. This is uh, uh, in uh, retreading. Unfortunately, so far, uh, you would find that cold retreading is not possible. 
They have done quite a few tests, and so far they were unsuccessful. It's only hot retreading. That means uh, uh, uncured rubber applied to the carcass and cured in a press with a mold. Uh, I believe that cold retreading will be viable one day because there is no technical reason why uh, pre-cured threads could not replace uh, hot cure uh, for uh, aircraft tire retreading. Uh, increased comp compatibility to wheel and other equipment, again, a very important subject that is being uh, uh, investigated constantly. Today, all wheels of aircraft are being balanced. Uh, before, it was not important. Uh, it is now more important, particularly as more and more radial tires go into aircraft tires. The performance of radial tires in uh, aircraft is not better. Some people say it's even worse. Still, the majority of tires in aircraft tires are uh, diagonal, but on the other hand, they are lighter, and the weight is a very important factor in aviation, and therefore, in my opinion, more and more uh, planes will be using radial tires only. Okay, improved ground performance. Uh, Surely you don't like the look of the tires on that plane, uh, neither do I, but, and that's a result probably uh, either of uh, landing too far on the runway or uh, uh, coming in too fast. Uh, all this happens quite often. Or that the pilot was very nervous because his wife has annoyed him the, the night before. Uh, you would find, as I mentioned, that the taking off is harder than landing. It is against what people believe. I, I must say landing is very difficult too. If uh, a, a slow motion picture of aircraft tires when landing shows you a tire which is almost 90% twisted. 90 degrees uh, twisted, and that's not many tires can take that, and that especially when you do it many times per day. You need to, to know when we talk about ground performance, ground performance is you are requiring from a tire which is ready, really doesn't have any tread pattern. It has only longitudinal, longitudinal uh, uh, pattern, which mainly uh, re is there because of the uh, movement of water. But it is to control these tires at the speed they're coming in and not to uh, sleep. This is very difficult. There are many ways or many uh, things that are done in order to achieve that. Uh, you can say that uh, I have written here that it requires perfect steering and uh, extended deflection. All these uh, normal tires do not require to the extent that aircraft tires require. Finally, I want to touch the final element uh, model validation. Uh, this is only being developed in the last few years, but uh, the aircraft tire manufacturers today can use uh, FE instruments to really simulate a complete uh, takeoff or landing of aircraft tires in various situations and very accurately. Uh, it is not yet in the hands of everybody, but it, is, it will become a tool that is a must to any manufacturer, any user. Uh, this is in order to carry out the uh, tests uh, in the 
stage of uh, designing the tires and uh, uh, with the wish to make the tires lighter, this has become more and more important. Finally, a few words about our company. As you can see, we, we are around the world. We deal exclusively with uh, engineering and supply of equipment and other material to the tire industry. We don't touch tires as a product, obviously, because most of the tire companies in the world are either our customers or suppliers. Uh, the machine that you see is not, but this is a unit that we supplied to a Mideast large hub uh, in one of the Mideast countries that have accumulated a huge number of aircraft tires, scrap aircraft tires, and uh, they were looking of, for ways to dispose of them. Uh, I must say, luckily enough, they didn't use the equipment. We provided them with some names of people in, uh, I think one in St. Louis and two in Europe, who were very happy to buy all the tires. And why luckily? Because I don't think that this, our machine would have been able to handle these very tough tires. It is used today for OTR tires. Thank you.